Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to look at the effects of a 5.7 by 28 millimeter versus a 22 TCM round on a patio block. With the 5.7 by 28, I have the Ruger 5.7. All right, it's a new offering from Ruger, fairly new, a lot of people know about it now, but there's the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. The magazine holds 20 rounds. As far as the gun is concerned, it's a sweet shooting gun. It's got a 4.94 inch barrel and a, a very accurate gun. Now this round travels right around 2200 feet per second and it's gained popularity and a lot of people want to know what it can do. So this is an unscientific test on a patio block. But as far as the 22 TCM is concerned, I've got a Rock Island TAC Ultra 22 TCM. This round is also a bottleneck round. And this is a very powerful round as well. Both 40 grain bullets. The difference with the TCM is that it does have a soft point there. So that may make a difference. Maybe not. Probably. I don't, I actually, I don't think it will. I think both these rounds are going to shadow the patio block. But it has a 10 round magazine. And this is a 1911. So it has a five inch bar barrel this too is a sweet shooting handgun and round moves at 2200 feet per second just like the 5.7 so let's take a look at our targets which are the patio blocks all right here are the patio blocks both are the exact same goes about two inches thick but they are hollow from behind you can see that they're both the same but they're pretty thick my prediction will be that both of these will put a hurt on these patio blocks, if not destroy them. Now what I'm going to do is take one shot first, we'll check out the differences, and then we'll take a few more shots and see how well we can crush these patio blocks, if at all. But my prediction says that they will crush pretty good. All right, we're eight yards away. Let's start with the target on the right, which is red, because Ruger's colors are red, so That'll be simple, and we'll go with the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. One shot. Let's see how it does. All right. Some of that came back at me, but no big deal. Here we have the 22 TCM. Once again, that, that's a bit of a soft point there. I don't know that that will make a difference, but we will find out. The gold target on the left is what we're going for here because Rock Island color is black and gold. So let's check this out. Whoa. And both look pretty similar. Those pieces of those came back at me as well. So far I have to give the early edge to the 22 TCM. It put a hurting on that you know it got in there pretty deep so did the 5.7 but it didn't create as large of an impact as the 22 tcm actually you know i'm going to call it a draw because it's not too decisive all right back with the ruger 57 shooting at the target on the right 22 tcm with the tac ultra target on the left All right, here's what we're looking at. The 22 TCM did put it down. One may argue about the shot placement and how it just kind of shot on top of itself and blew that away, but so did this. Check that out. There was a total of four shots and there's the hairline crack I could see. But this this really <laughs> impacted and, and put that into pieces over there. So I have to give the edge to the 22 TCM. Let's take a few more shots. All right, back with the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. I'm gonna shoot a little bit higher on the patio block this time and see what happens. <laughs> and there it goes. The impact of that actually affected the target on the left. Um, let's see, I'll shoot right there. Bam, put it down. I'll hit the right on the side there. Wow. All right. All right, I'm a believer, 5.7 by 28 millimeter, getting the job done on the patio block. All right, back with the TAC Ultra. I have a smaller target now because the whole top half has been shot out. Let's go ahead. Wow. 
Wow. Whoa. I think we need to take a closer look to truly evaluate this. But from this vantage point, the 22 TCM edged out the 5.7. All right, I have to give the winning medal to the 22 TCM. It took the exact same center block and just destroyed it. Total of 10 shots, and you can see that there are pieces of this all over the place. This 5.7 by 28 millimeter did what it had to do. It, it pretty much busted up that patio block, but not like that. So this unscientific test was surely unscientific, but I, I think it's pretty decisive now after each round had 10 shots total on each of these patio blocks, the 22 TCM is victorious. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.